So what do you do when you have holes like this in plastic? I'm gonna show you a process I use to basically fill these holes in and make them disappear. Initially, there was a hole right here, but we filled the hole in uh, using body filler. Right, the bumper's been cleaned. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna prep this area on the inside and the outside of the bumper. What I'm doing there is just roughing up the surface so we've got something for the fiberglass to stick onto. Now we've got the bumper nice and keyed up and prepped and ready. We're gonna give it a little wash with soapy water. Measuring the fiberglass we're gonna be using to cover the area. And I'll show you how we're gonna do it. It's gonna trace out. It doesn't have to be extremely precise. Just has to be about right. What I'm gonna do now is trim off uh, some of the excess. So I'm gonna leave about that much. I'm gonna leave about, about two, 25 millimeters. So that's what I've got left. Right, I'm just gonna clean the area of my solvent wipes. So every 10 mil uh, of resin, you put one pea sized drop of hardener. With the hardener resin, you wanna make sure you thoroughly mix these together and you've got a nice uniform color. The hardener takes about five minutes to set, so you wanna get this on nice and properly. We've allowed the bumper to dry for about two hours or so, so that's nice and solid. What we're going to do now is sand it with 80 grit. Right, so by the time you're done, this should be nice and scratched up. If I get the filler on, just got to make sure this is nice, nice and clean. The body filler that I'm using comes pre-measured in the packets. When you're mixing the body filler, you just want to try and avoid air pockets by folding the body filler onto itself and making sure it's a nice uniform colour. I am in no way a body filler expert as you see in <laughs> what's coming up next. You want to try and use not too much body filler, but if you do end up using as much as I did, you just have to stand a little bit longer. Right, we've got 100, 180 grit on the block. Just gonna wet sand all of this area where we've sort of scuffed the bumper and then hit it up with 400 to get it ready for paint. We have sanded the body filler down all the way so that's flat and then for me I've continued sanding the body filler to give it this little style and show that there was a cover there because that for me that's kind of what makes the GTI. You could choose to have this completely flush uh, and not sand the bonder down as much and that would be okay.